Hello again, it's me. Um, I just wanted to do another doll haul ramble kind of video. I finally found my camera again. Of course, it was just sitting in a bin full of, like, doll clothes. Of course. Constantly cleaning up in here. <laughs> so, um, I, I have a friend who um, very, very quickly got into collecting Monster High dolls and um, she decided to edit down some of her collection so um, I finally managed to get a hold of her and she sold me some of her dolls um, and some of them I had already had but trying to get the little tiny bits and pieces which I know she's put in hard work trying to find some is hard work and it can run quite expensive so I know I got a fantastic deal on them um, so the first three that I got was the um, say Frankie cheer squad whoops there goes your shoes these do not stay on very well alright so um, I already have the Dracula but I was missing her her bow, her shoes, and her earrings and her, like, accessory pieces. Um, I had managed to find her skirt and her top, I think, and the doll. Um, yeah, these are just, uh, reprint Frankie shoes. I'm trying to remember what dolls are from. It's not coming to me. Nope, I'm having a brain fart. Anyways, these are Frankie reprint shoes. Um, her... Uh, blue bracelet there that is a uh, Frankie Sweet 16 uh, whoops I'm just gonna leave that off Sweet 1600 shoe or a uh, bracelet and I think her little pink one is a Frankie repeat reprint again I just can't think of which one and her earrings <laughs> I know for a fact that these are the Dawn of the Dance Frankie earrings because um, I traded them to her at one point because I had doubles and sadly enough I, this bow, well not sadly but this bow isn't a reprint because I've never seen it on any of the other dolls and it's freaking adorable so there is Dracula I need to get some um, elastic bands to keep her shoes on um, so the second one that I got is the Claudine and the earrings are um, these I think these are might be her uh, Gloom Beach Frankie's Gloom Beach reprints uh, Sweet 16 reprint earrings um, again uh, Sweet 16 reprint and the same with this little stitch one it's another Frankie reprint um, these are a really neat reprint of um, the Sweet Sixteen uh, Claudine shoes and you know great colors there I actually notice here that I've got some neon uh, staining on the side there that sucks but yeah she's freaking adorable I wasn't psyched to get these when they first came out I find sometimes over time I get more excited but it's awesome to have her and have her complete because now I, ha I have an extra set of each of these dolls so I can find new homes for those and um, so they're just missing their, their little signs but this Jackson he has everything he has his sign the little cardboard piece the bracelets and the glasses which I never see like these say Frankie dolls are I wouldn't say they're the dolls themselves are hard to find but they're not something that you see around very often um, these glasses are crazy inspired by Frankie's bolt theme so excited to have more complete versions of those I think I might be able to find the signs a bit easier than uh, you know the little earrings and bracelets and things um, extra extra so another uh, one that I got from my friend um, is a double of the Dracu Locker Dracu Lara I love her um, to the, you know, just the pink swipe on the side, the black lipstick, she's, you know, very gothic makeup. Um, so after, she had some pieces that I was missing, so after getting her, I'm missing um, the white, there's a pair of white shoes that are a 
um, Day at the Mall reprint, just plain white shoes, um, with little heart details on them, and I do believe there's two pairs of earrings and a necklace. Um, the black earrings are a reprint of her diner earrings, their little um, bows with hearts on the ends, and the other earrings are, and there's a variation, so you could get a pack that had pink zippers or white zippers, and those are from Gulia. Oh, for some reason I thought they were Dracula, or Dracula had safety pin earrings. And Gooly had zipper earrings on her first release. So anyways, um, I got her and her purses and some of the other pieces I was missing. Some extra hangers, which is awesome, because those things are neat. Um, doubles, doubles, doubles. So I had picked up... Every time I find... A, I work at a second-hand store, so every f time I find a doll that I don't have, no matter the... I, I want to say no matter the condition, but, you know, obviously if... Her, her head was missing. I probably wouldn't pick up just a body. Um, unless it was the arms. I'm missing the Astronova both sets. Both color sets of the arms. So anyways, I had picked up a nude um, exchange Draculara um, only to find out that her hair had been cut. Or maybe it hadn't been cut. I think the promo pictures might be different because I think this is a similar... maybe... anyways. So, um... I really love this doll, um, the the way they kind of incorporated the uh, Japanese um, motifs onto her with the uh, spider web. Instead of going for bats, they did just the spider webs this time, and it's really cool. Actually, she does have bats hanging off her hair pieces in the back there. Um, but yeah, she's really beautiful, and her makeup is really stunning, that little bit of almost like little geisha lips in kind of this peachy color. She's so pretty. Um, so I was very happy to get her so I can, again, find a new home for the other one I have. Um, and I had actually tried to... I had added this one to my list. It's the Exchange Laguna. And I had, like, two days before I had gone to meet my friend, I had picked one up at my work. So I was like, well... Can I switch it out for another one? But that other one would have just sold. And so, um, she's gone to Spain, I believe. So she has, um, instead of doing, like, I'm trying to think what they normally put on Laguna. Fish, coral, seahorses, octopus. She just had the octopus. They're, they're on her earrings. Um, and she has an octopus on her, um, little bag there as well with a fan. Um, they went with the um, octopus suckers, so that's why she's all polka dotted through her through her dress and her little shrug there. It's supposed to be like the little suction cups on the octopus. And her, her shoes are really pretty, but the detail is kind of hard to see because of the uh, material they use. It's like this um, opaque gray kind of thing. But, uh, She's really pretty with her curly hair. She does have a bit of wonk eye, but I don't really care. And something interesting I noticed, too, I was going through, you know, are these dolls missing anything? And I was looking through pictures. You know, I like, I love looking at photos. Um, that's a big part of collecting is referencing and learning all the different pieces. I noticed that the um, exchange Draculara, um, a lot of the photos, her, like, promo photos, I think it's called, um, she's wearing Laguna's little earrings. And from the photos, they look like they're cherry blossoms, so it works, but they're actually little octopuses. So um, once I noticed that, I thought that was kind of cool. I like seeing when when they change things. Like, for instance, um, if you look at the promo photos for uh, the first Holt, um, he shows in those pictures um, those little orange glasses that Jackson comes with in the Gloom Beach version. So they must have been going to release them with Holt and decided to hold them off for Jackson. It's the same person. But um, So one, two... Okay, I'll get her. Uh, now we're getting into ones that I did not have copies of. So um, my friend had gotten hold of a 
Luna? Luna Matthews, I think her name is. Um, she's sitting right here. Um, yeah, Luna Matthews. Okay, had gotten the three-pack version of her, so she's in her little dress, and I think she's missing her glasses, but she had her shoes and everything, so she, um, she had passed her on to me, because I had, she had come over to help me organize my doll room, and I had let her go through my doubles bag, and she picked out probably 15 different dolls, um, and so she kind of spent her time trying to, um, help me with my collection. So, you know, if she was getting a lot of accessories and there was a piece there that she knew I needed, she would pick it up for me and we had lists and stuff, but she doesn't, she doesn't do that anymore. Um, but she, she must have kept the, uh, Mousselis, Mousselis, um, but this one was one of the ones she had offered and I was very sad not to get a LED when she first came out because um, I love the purple and blue and gray uh, color scheme and the fact that she was a robot so she's kind of like a modern version of Rebecca um, you know Apple versus Atari kind of thing um, I just thought she was really cool and um, I do have somewhere I thought she was sitting right here I do have the um, the, the single boxed version of her but I'm missing pieces. This one, however, is complete. Um, you know, she's still even got her elastic band on her necklace, so that's awesome. Her hair's a little messy, but and look at those shoes. I think she actually stands taller than a lot of the other Monster High dolls because her shoes are so tall. But uh, yes, I was very excited to get her and add her to my collection. Anytime there's a multi-pack, um, you know, three, they did have a four, three, four, five, you know, whatever, whatever dolls that are single releases in those multiplex are usually harder to find. So I was very excited for that one. So again, talking about multi-packs, this is Elizabeth from the, um, Lundum, Lundum Celebrities, and, uh, I added her just because I she's one I didn't have, and I also didn't buy the pack when it was in store. I probably should have because it went down pretty cheap. But after getting her and seeing like her kind of like mod inspired boots and dress, and you know she very much harkens to that British um, mod 1960s kind of late 60s vibe. Um, she's very cute and she has this really nice hair bouffant thing going on which I never noticed and her boots I think are supposed to look like rain boots. She's adorable. So probably the one I was most excited to get was um, Scarnival, Scarnival Scarra. It's a mouthful. Um, so these were economy dolls and I bought one when they came out, maybe two. I got Heath, and I got Halloween, um, because I love Halloween dolls. So, um, I've been trying, you know, this year to kind of get the other ones and, and build up that part of my collection. So now I'm just missing Claude and, uh, Elizabeth, which I might have Elizabeth coming. Um, but she's awesome, because she's got this, like, beautiful boots, neon green slime, and the green in her hair, and the, the like, very Barbie 80s pink going on. Um, she, she very much, um, hits that, uh, childhood heartstring for me, so I'm very excited to have her. She was, like, one of the ones I was really excited for, um, because I had had, I had had the Elizabeth come into my work, um, the day I went to buy her, somebody ripped the tag off. They wouldn't let me buy her, which understandable. Um, so they put her into the revert bag to go out back again, and I waited and waited and just didn't come out. They, they, she had gotten thrown in behind, so I had to physically take her and bring her out back and get her repriced. And then by the time I went back to try and buy her after my time frame had ended, she was gone. I should have looked harder for the tag. And I'm like, oh, the tag just fell off. 
Oh, well. I will get her eventually. So, last, but certainly not least, <coughs> woof, we have the 17-inch Elizabeth. Now, why they decided to do Elizabeth is beyond me. I really, please, Mattel, please make Laguna and Cleo and Gulia. Make the other girls. Make me a Spectra, please. So, <laughs> but Elizabeth, she's only had, like, she's had more releases now, but when she came out, she hadn't had, like, two or three. And there's other dolls that have way more releases that would have been so cool to have in this form. So she is basically just a complete reproduction of her uh, first release. She got these big honkin' boots. Um, but one of the big differences about them is they have kind of like the Barbie made-to-move bodies. So they have extra joints. So you can have more mobili mo mobility in them. Kind of do yoga poses. Um, do they have chest? Yes, they have They have um, a pivot in their, in their uh, rib cage. So that's cool. Um, and she's complete. So now I'm just missing uh, Shipwrecked Galupe and um, Dracula's Earrings, which is probably... I'm never going to find those. The release of these guys was a lot less. I don't know, I might get lucky. If I find another whole Dracula for a cheap price, I'd get her, because the one I have has hair cut in the back. I don't think the kid, um, the, the family, I don't think the family that I got it from, I don't think they did it. I think it might have come out of the box like that. Um, what else do I have to show? I haven't gotten anything from work in a little while. This week was kind of barren. But, um, time before last, when my boyfriend and I got groceries, I was ecstatic, and I hope I have as much luck with the, uh, the other lines. Care Bears, Mario, um, Hello Kitty Fuzzle Fox! I, I was like, okay, Jim, um, can you buy me one? I didn't have any money. And Jim's my fiance. So, um, and every time I go into, there's no Monster High dolls on the shelf. There's, you know, Nothing for me anymore, just this Barbie stuff. And it's not that I dislike this Barbie stuff. I am psyched for this Barbie stuff. But I'm, you know, it's reboot, sad. Take a moment. Okay, um, so I had picked up a couple and I was like, well, I don't know which one I want the most. Will you pick out, um, will you pick out the one to get for me? Because I like them all pretty much equally. And I think this was the one that I had picked out because I had seen this on someone else's doll, and I just thought it was adorable. It's a character named My Melody. Um, Hello Kitty and... Hello Kitty's the only, uh, character that I really know about, but I know in Japan, um, this company has done... Brain fart. Nope, I can't remember the name of the Hello Kitty company. Anyways, um, they have more than just Hello Kitty, so they have her other animals in her universe, and they have other things trademarked. So, um, this is the other one I got, and I really like this one. It's a very, um, kind of iconic Hello Kitty looking, and it reminds me of Sailor Moon. So, Hello Kitty, Sailor Moon, you can't lose with that. Um, and Little Twin Stars. I only recently learned the names of these guys, but details on that skirt? Oh, they're so cute. Okay, my, my battery's dying. And last but not least, I got the red Hello Kitty dress. I think if I had the chance to pick up more of these, I probably would if I could find ones where the print was lined up nicely on the front. Uh, but they, uh, at the New York Toy Fair, they had Mario, they had Donkey Kong, they had Care Bears. I need some of that Care Bear stuff. I just, you know, I guess my... I guess my my girls are child children of the 80s as well, kind of. Anyways, so that was all I have to show. My battery's running out. Um, I really could wish I'd just talk longer, but finding batteries is a hassle. But uh, yeah, I'm saving up money for my shelves. So once I get all that set up, hot set on the way, and um, 
my uh, my Barbie group that I meet up with, which is full of wonderful collectors. I love them so much. They're so wonderful. It really is great to have people like them to understand and support and indulge along with you once a month. Um, and, you know, they help you find things and sell you stuff or give you stuff or trade things. And, you know, uh, I would never have... It's such a diverse group. I never would have met any of these women otherwise. And they all just kind of, like... There's some men in there, too. Open arms. Like, you know, as soon as I went, it was hugs all around. So, you know, uh, for someone who has issues with anxiety and loneliness and depression and stuff like that, it's been fantastic to have them around. So anyways, our um, we do a theme and we do show and tell. So I'm going to bring all these lovelies to my show and tell. And our theme for this next meeting is couples. So I've got to gather um, Rochelle and Garot, which I love that those, those two. Um, I've got to get Cleo, I gotta pick a Cleo and Deuce. Um, there's a couple different ones of them I could pick. I could take Laguna and um, Gil. I could take Gulli and Slomo. I think I'll leave them home though. And uh, who else do I have? A couple. I thought it would be really funny too to bring uh, bring Frankie and all the um, the non dating boys because. You know, she's the one who seems to always get all the male attention. It's just hilarious. But anyways, um, that's it for now. Bye!